So this question is a diagram question. And really, I only say that because every question that I see that provides some visual input, I'm going to call a diagram question. But, you know, there's not really a lot of visual input provided here. We have a graph. We have an x-axis. We have a y-axis. We have our quadrants labeled as 1, 2, 3, and 4. And that's really it, right? There's not really actually any information provided. So let's go to the question and see what it is that we're being asked to do. So this question says, in the xy plane shown, the quadrants are labeled 1, 2, 3, and 4. The graph of y equals negative x plus h squared plus k, I'm just write that down, y equals negative x plus h squared plus k. So first of all, I know this is going to be a parabola. And I know that it's going to be downward facing because of this negative sign here, right? So that means it probably should be downward facing. And I also know that the, that the vertex of this parabola should be the ordered pair negative h comma k, okay? I know all of that based upon like our generic, and I'll just write it up here, parabola equation where we have y equals plus or minus a parentheses x plus or minus h parentheses square plus or minus k, where again, if it were positive, the parabola faces up. If we had negative, the parabola faces down. This a value does something to the parabola as well. A positive h, right? Positive means you shift to the left h units. Negative h means you shift to the right h units. That's the insider's lie idea, which hopefully sounds familiar from school. And then if we have a positive for the k value, we're shifting up k units and negative for k value, we're shifting down k units. So that's how I know this information here. So it says where, k, where h and k are positive constants is a parabola, right? So even if you didn't know it was going to be a parabola, the question tells you it's going to be a parabola. The last sentence says, in which quadrant is the vertex of this parabola? Well, because we know h is positive, right? We are told h and k are positive. And because I know that the H being positive in the parentheses means I'm moving to the left H units, even though I don't know how many units H represents, I know that I'm going to go left H units and I'm going to go up K units. So wherever that lands me, it will be in the second quadrant, right? It doesn't matter what H equals. It doesn't matter what K equals because any movement in the to the left H units and up K units will land me in quadrant two, and therefore the answer is choice B.